time for another pop day with Mumbles and Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. On today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, we are talking about Halloween safety and your dog. Guys, this can be a very stressful time of the year for your dog or your pet or whatever it is that you have, so make sure to keep them safe during this time of year. And I have some tips today to help you do just that. So stay tuned, and here we go. So guys, on today's pup date, I am talking about Halloween safety. Guys, this is a topic I've talked about a lot, but I do want to put some more emphasis on this topic because it's such an important topic. You know, during Halloween, dogs, cats, all types of animals get very, very scared. There's a lot going on in the world. Just like 4th of July, there's different sounds, there's different things going on. So you're going to want to make sure that your dog, whatever kind of animal that you have, that they are safe. So today I've compiled a list of some tips to help you do just that. Guys, the first tip that I have today is on Halloween day, make sure to get your dog plenty of exercise. I know I stress this tip a lot when it comes to fireworks and things like that. Just like that times, I'm stressing this tip again because if your dog is tired and worn out, they may just end up sleeping through Halloween, which is okay in my book because they won't have any anxiety of hearing any screaming or anything like that. So they won't get stressed out. So get your dog some exercise during the day to help them sleep better at night. So guys, our second tip today is keep your dog indoors. Now there's a couple different reasons for doing this, starting with sounds and things outside. With all the screaming and different Halloween sounds going on in the world, your dog may get scared, they may try to get out, they may be barking like crazy, you know. So you wanna try to keep them inside if it is at all possible because it will be a better situation they won't hear as much noise they won't see as much it'll be better for them they'll be more relaxed the other thing in adding on to this tip is when they are indoors make sure to keep them away from your front door guys you don't want your dog getting out running out scaring anyone or potentially causing any sort of problem so my recommendation here would be honestly keep them in another room keep them in their safe area maybe put them in their crate keep them someplace safe where you can control the situation where they can stay away from the front door even if you're not handing out candy, just having random people come into your door, knocking on your door, ringing your doorbell can upset your dog. So please do be aware of that. Guys, the third tip is, this is a, a kind of a fireworkish tip here. Play soothing mu music or use something to keep their mind off of what's going on. Maybe have playtime with them. Maybe give them a special treat. You want to try to keep their mind off of what's going on around them. So try something like that that is our third tip today the fourth tip today now these are more halloween type tips coming up here the fourth tip today is if you are decorating in any sort of halloween thing whether it be with pumpkins or whatever it is with dancer we have learned that dancer will pick up things drag them off to his bed and think they're a toy so make sure i cannot stress this enough make sure if you are decorating for halloween whether it be with jack lanterns or whatever it is that you keep them in areas that your dog cannot get to them because you don't want them to tear them up or, you know, get something stuck in their throat or whatever. Keep the Halloween decorations away from your animals. So guys, the fifth tip, and I kind of already alluded to this in the second tip, but the fifth tip today is keep all Halloween candy away from your dog. Guys, chocolate is not good for your dog. The substitute sugar is not good for your dog. Too much sugar is not good for your dog. Just keep those treats away. You want to give them a Halloween treat, buy them something special, or give them their special dog treat during this time to make up for them not getting those kind of treats. You just don't want to even chance it with those kind of treats. They're not good for your dog. Now guys, the sixth and final tip that I have today when it comes to your dog is, I don't know whether or not a lot of you are, you know, doing Halloween type things this year or not, but either way, I try to always remind you guys, please, 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 please if you are putting a costume on your dog, even if it's just for a picture, make sure that it does not in any way hurt the dog, cause the dog distress, or you know, cut off any air circulation or anything like that. Make sure they are comfortable in it. Make sure that it does not cause them undue anxiety. Guys, we all like to have our dogs looking cute, but just be careful and use your brain when it comes to this tip. So guys, that is our Halloween tips for this year. Um, I, I wanted to do kind of a more generalized Halloween thing because I know some of you might not be going out and trick-or-treating with everything that's going on in the world, which is completely fine, but you still do need to think about your pet, what is going on with your pet, 
because this can be a very stressful time of the year for your pet. So, again, I hope these tips help you guys. And now I'm going to go get Dancer so we can finish up this video. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles of Dancer Pup Dates. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Stay safe out there and just have a great time, guys. And, and this is going to be Mumbles of Dancer signing off. Say bye-bye, Mr. Dancer. Say bye-bye. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.